So we have to decide who owns the pum pum, the snatch, the notch, the yoni, the buff, the vagina. Who owns it? Hello, my friends. Welcome. Welcome back. I'm happy that you could join me here. Welcome. I am in Jamaica. I certainly hope that everyone has been doing okay. You're enjoying good health. Yes, and a very prosperous life. I want to ask the question, who owns Pum Pum? Who owns the Pum Pum? The snatch, the yoni, the vagina, the good good, the buff, whatever name. This part of the female anatomy goes by in your country or in your region. Who owns it? Who owns the pum pum? This question is important to be answered because I think there is some confusion somewhere along the line. Yes, <laughs> we will argue as females that we were born with the good good, the pum pum. It is ours. We are the legal owners. Of pum pum what is this really so and I ask if this is really so because yes sometimes we do enter into some trade with pum pum yes as the prize and we lose the pum pum or the right to the pum pum in the process so we might trade it for house car some luxury item money even a relationship Penis, you know, maybe is one of the things that we end up trading the pum pum for. So we have lost ownership. Yes. So the question is, who owns pum pum? Who own the nash? Who own your pum pum? Female, who own your pum pum? Who own your, your nash? The snatch, the hole, the good good, the pum pum, the vagina. Who owns it? Are you the owner? Let me know. <laughs> I think that one of the primary causes of violence against women is pum pum. We need to be sure of the ownership of this property. The woman was born with pum pum, but have we traded it for other things? As I said before, if we entered into a trade with pum pum, then ownership might have been transferred and yes we still have it on our body but then we are only trustees to keep and care pum pum for the real owner let us think about this carefully are we the owner of the pum pum or are we just trustees we have to make it very clear in our minds we can't confuse ownership with trustee because if we do then this is where the underlying problem is a failure to determine the rightful owner for the yoni if yoni is traded for whatever be it cash be it kind then the person who we enter the trade with for example a male he is gonna call for his yoni and we will need to present it. He will call for it. He needs it. He desires it. So it is now out of our hand to withhold or to deny the person his property. We can't build a fence or put up a gate. We can't put up a gate because we would be putting a gate on someone else's property. Putting up a resistance. Failure to deliver the package. Failure to present the property to which this person has ownership gonna cause frustration and frustration is surely gonna lead to violence in many instances oftentimes the violence is so bad that the man decides to take his piece of the property yes he's gonna survey the land which is the female's body and he is gonna cut off his portion he's gonna take his nash and go He's going to cut it out. When pum pum violence is experienced, then persons, you know, oftentimes will not say that it is the pum pum that is causing the frustration. Yes, they will talk about many other things. And even the man probably will deny that it is because he was denied his pum pum 
why he, he got upset. But ask the person in the street who probably knows them and knows of his investment. They will tell you that he paid for his uni and now the woman is giving it out someplace else or she is um, withholding it. And he will have none of it. He has invested in the property and now he has entrusted her to keep it. He is now calling for his property. He desires it and she is saying no. This is going to cause problem. Who owns the noni? Who owns the nash? Who owns the vagina? Have we traded it somewhere along the line? Have we give up ownership? We need to be sure of who owns the vagina. Who owns it? I don't know. I don't know at what point we probably entered into a trade and had lost the trade and the pum pum now has to be given up. I am not discussing the subject of prostitution or what the Bible says about fornication or adultery and all of that. No, I am not talking about that here. Prostitution and what the Bible says about X, Y, or Z, that's for another time. But for right now, the primary question is, who owns the pum pum? So I'm not talking about prostitutes who have to trade their wear. Yes, you do a business, you collect, and you still keep your pum pum. I am talking about where persons enter into relationships or situationships, sometimes for long term, you know, sometimes for the good, but then it works out differently. Other persons might have different type of arrangements. We have to be sure of what we are into. If we are in a relationship per se, and then the relationship goes sour, all right, and persons have to part their way, the man having invested heavily in the relationship because of pum pum, the nash, the snatch, the good good, he invested heavily. And some women are very pricey. You know, she wants this, she has to get that. Uh, you know, a whole list of things to be fulfilled. Okay, having done his part, then the relationship is not going anywhere and they decide to call it quits. Now the man is asking back for his gifts. Now the woman is saying, no, 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 these were gifted to my Nash and so I'll keep. So the man will decide, no, 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 no. Actually, when I gave you these gifts, these were for Pum Pum because at that time I was investing in a business with Pum Pum. Now there is no longer a business so I need back my investment or I will take the property in which I had invested. I am going to take your yoni. It is mine. So we have to look and say, oh yes, there is a high-end vehicle park there. There is a yacht there. There are the many um, five-star hotels, the jewelry and all of that. Yes, we did trade Pum Pum. We traded it. And it seems like we have lost it because this man is out to get his property at any cost. And if we refuse, then we will be violated. Many females like to say, oh, my good pums give me this and me have the good up, good up and me have the good this and that. And yes, it has to work. It has to bring in income. But we have to now consider that when good good is working, when good good is being paid for, it is being traded. We have to make it clear what is the position of pum pum in whatever relationship. We are not trading it. You have no right to pum pum. So whatever else you are doing that is outside of pum pum. I am not getting into any arrangement where I might lose ownership to my pum pum. We might argue that, oh, it's on our body. We were born with it. God gave it to me. Yes, all that is true. But where did you trade it? When and for how much? Can you reverse the trade and regain ownership of the pum pum? That's a question. Who owns pum pum? Who owns vagina? 
The fact that we are born with it, it gives us the right to trade. And so we trade. Yes, we trade. But the end result of some trade is quite brutal. So let us decide to keep ownership of Pum Pum. All right? Jada said, I put it down on the wrong one. Yes, she gave up the Nash. Whether it was paid for or she just gave it up. She said, I put it down on the wrong one. We had nothing in common. There was nothing common between them. She, but she gave it up. I don't know whether she traded it. No. The song says, I put it down on the wrong one. We ain't got nothing in common. All right? My pum pum ton, good boy in a madman. And now I've got good pum pum problem. So she's saying she has a good pum pum. But she gave it to the wrong person. She probably traded it. And now the person wants his prize. And she's saying we had nothing in common. But yet, I gave, I traded. No, she's holding hard in. She said, no, 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 it's mine. I ain't giving it up. So, this boy or this person, I don't know, was probably not the violent type. So, his mental status is now being questioned. Because she said, good boy, turn in a madman. So, he has developed some type of mental illness. So, he having developed mental illness now she has a problem she has a problem because she knows that it is her pum pum that caused him to you know be mentally ill and also now other person knowing that she has good pum pum will be targeting her i put it down on the wrong one we ain't got nothing in common my pum pum turned good boy in a madman and now I have good pum pum problem. I don't know whether the lyrics of the song is appealing to me at all. Because this person she put it down on is somebody's son, for example. Say, I am assuming that it is a male because she said, good boy, turn in a madman. So it's somebody's son, somebody's brother, somebody's uncle, somebody's nephew, somebody's father. And then you come out quite happy, you know, no remorse there to say, you have, you know, your pum pum ton good boy in a madman. You know, this can't be good. So we have to decide what our pum pum is doing. Now this fellow thought he owned the pum pum. He's not the violent type to be committing violence against females. So he has taken it to heart. He has gone mad. His mental status now need to be assessed. But in her mind, he has gone mad, loco. Yes. Our Pum Pum turned good boy into a mad man. If Pum Pum, the Nash, the Noni, the Good Good has so much power, then we need to do some type of introspection. We need to know that the Pum Pum's power can cause harm. It can cause sickness. And we have to protect ourselves and persons from mental illnesses. Men, what are you in love with? Pum Pum, beauty, shape, character. What are your criteria for a relationship? Is the feeling mutual? Are the benefits mutual? You have to seek guidance, or we all have to seek guidance from our higher selves and ask God, you know, to guide us. We have to ask friends and persons that we trust for their opinion and our advice, you know, on our intentions to enter into a relationship. Yes, because we don't want it to become a situationship where Pum Pum now is going to be blamed for any mishap. No, we don't want that to happen. 
we now have to be sure as to who owns the pompo did we trade it someplace so we have transferred ownership it's not enough to say i was born with it so it is mine we probably trade it and then we are only trustees we are only here to keep and care it and to present it when the rightful owner calls for it when many violent crimes are committed or persons are in abusive relationship and jealousy comes about it is because your partner you know might be fearful that you're giving up pum pum and so this can be very frustrating he having thought that yes he is the owner and you are saying no it is mine then this can be a real problem jealousy can lead to violent crime even death we have to make it clear who own pum pum yes so when a violent crime is committed maybe you know you won't hear it in mainstream media that it is the pum pum that is causing the problem it might be fixed up you know pretty and say oh it was because of jealousy but ask the man in the street the street analyst the street broadcaster ask him mm -hmm. so what are we gonna do we are gonna try to find out at this point who owns the nash who is the legal owner not the legal guardian no who is the owner of the nash my friends thank you for stopping by it was nice having your company I appreciate you every time. Your subscription, your comments, your likes, the many times you share the videos. Thank you for viewing my videos. It means a lot to me. Journey with me along my path. My name is June, sending you love, much love from Jamaica. Let us decide who owns the pum pum. Don't put it down on the wrong one because the wrong person might just be the owner of our pumpo.